the era of television. The greatest advance in television. In the 60s and 70s, TV had become such an icon that, that artists couldn't resist just fooling with it. It was all pretty much new and it was really taking sort of your standard TV sets and just making it really crazy. But the inherent vice of televisions is it is a consumer electronic. Unlike painting and sculptures, these electronic pieces, they could just go anytime. That was always a big threat to this in a museum. You have these pieces that, if it breaks down, what do you do? The first person we call is C.T. Lilly. Louis always been the first person we go to. It's because of my father, they're able to be maintained, they're able to be shown, they're able to be put out in the world. Within the conservation field, this is critically necessary. You can see just the enthusiasm he has for this technology. My name is Chiten Louis. I'm an electrical engineer and technician. I was born in Chongqing during World War II, and then after the war, we moved to Shanghai, and then from there, we went to Hong Kong and Taiwan. Ever since I kid, I was a tinker. I like to take things apart, take watch apart, take everything apart. I always did be interested in how things work. My first time learning TV was very difficult. They talk about scanning, sawtooth, sine wave, all drive you crazy. And also in Taiwan, there's no TV broadcast. We were only watching snow. So I never see TV working until I come to America. The easiest job for me to do is TV repair shop. I go in there and right away they hire me, I repair TV and that's how I make a living. I started my own business in 1969. My place basically is like a hub for video customers. Uh, all the artists meet here because I, I show all the new equipment. When people started using video, it was sort of this experimental media. So everybody was sort of wanting to know how it worked, what you could do with it. People like Andy Warhol, John Lennon, they bought equipment from me. That's how I meet. Woody Allen or Shirley Clark. Francis Coppola come visit my shop every weekend. My talent is also to take the equipment custom fit to what they like. It's a lot of fun to work with them. Today, my most of work is conservation for museums. Any art involves electronics, they come to me. They want to maintain original art. So my job is to refurbish them, try to maintain the same look. Most of the time, the TVs, they burn out or the electronic component failure. I also know where to get parts. I, I know if this tube doesn't work, I know what to substitute. They're calling me because of my reputation with the original artist. Any major institution that has video art Probably my father has touched in some way. I helped MoMA. The Whitney. Guggenheim. The Met. I want to keep all the artists artwork alive. That's my job, I think. That's my, my duty. And they keep me alive. As long as I could do that, it's really a lot of fun. <laughs> 